Well, hello. Welcome to Drawing with Fire. I'm Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist. Here with Hubby. I'm Cap. And for our babies. It's all the clicking you hear. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. And today we are going to work on the ghostly eyes. Now, this is going to be the last public live for this piece. And then it's going to go behind for the uh, paywall for the members. But I had to make a decision because I decided to enter Trakel's pet portrait this year with the deadline being August 31st. I've got time to get a pet portrait done. So I am going to be going ahead and extending to the first week of September before everything go before the lives go to the members only. And this is the piece we will be working on for August. I saw a lot of people who or some people that were asking for short, asking how to do short fur, white fur specific, which Morgan has. And then I also was thinking I started public lives with an animal and I'm gonna end it with an animal. And then we'll just go to the members after that. Alrighty. Hey Kathy, hey Andrea. We are gonna get started on these eyes. Now I'm trying to figure out how to put the camera because this is too high for me to work plus your camera that's right here is in my face and I can't see anything. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to flip this upside down. Is that going to be too confusing if I work upside down for you guys? Or put it to the side and I can still tilt the camera so it's upright for you guys. That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. But let's go ahead and see. Because I can work on one eye that way. But then, let's see, can I get you guys upright? Kind of. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, we're going to work this way. Sorry. Don't mean to make you all dizzy. And down I go. <laughs> because I can't work from up there. If my piece is down here. Alrighty, so I have my reference photos. We've already done the eyes before, so with our practice piece, but remember um, with my final piece I got rid of the waves on the face, so I don't have to worry about that. And I know that looks weird, but that seaweed for part of her hair, not all of it, but that's just how I photoshopped it. There we go. So let's get started. Now remember, I want her eyes to glow, even though they're still going to have burning going over it. I do want the light area to really glow. So I'm going to skip putting any real detail in there. But I am going to put a ring around her eye and I can fix her pupil. This is the 9M and I'm on 3. Is see, still on camera? Yep. Now this pupil, see th there's eyelashes over here that's why I didn't uh, fully put it in and we do have some eyelashes here and part of the eyelash is going to hmm her eyes aren't even but they're even in the photo I must have shifted my pattern uh -oh. yeah what you can do? Let me think real quick because I just put that damn pupil in. Like it could be the base for. Well, this is embarrassing, but I guess we get to learn a fix, don't we? See how much the eyes are off? And I thought I had it even. I can't see it. Right here, look. I'm looking. If you look. There's this gap right here. But you're not directly straight up and down. Look at how the angle of the board. All right, let's do one more check. 
see it is still I'm gonna move you guys up so you can see what I'm doing where's that one um If I try to line up, oops, sorry, the corners of the eyes, we can see that the eye is off by actually quite a bit. Now, I know her eyes aren't perfect. Nobody's eyes are perfect. Um, there's always going to be a little bit off on it, but when we look here, they, her corner of her eyes aren't off. And that eye, though we lose part of the eye because of the eyelashes and the eyelash shadow, it's a little wider than each other. All right. Well, let's see here. This is embarrassing and a real pain in the ass to fix. Um, the nose is fine. It's just this eye I need to fix. So what I'm going to do... How are you going to do that? How am I going to fix it? Yeah. I am going to have to grab real quick. I don't need the full pattern. Okay. I don't need my full pattern. I taped it really good. <laughs> I just need the pattern that has her face. Because even if you look at my pattern, it is correct. That means the pattern shifted while transferring. So now I have to be good I'm lining up. Yeah, we can I can see it now. So what I'm going to have to do Can I have that tape right there, please? Sorry about this, guys. Did not expect this to happen. So, I it's educational. I didn't check, obviously, or this wouldn't be oh. happening. I knew it had shifted, but I thought this happens. I was good on this part. This happens to everybody. Alrighty. So now, let's make sure. No, this is mine. Not yours. Yeah, I'm yeah. still off. Uh, I guess I need to change the title of this video. <laughs> How to fix your pattern when you screwed it up. I'm having a hard time seeing where these lines are. See right here, I can't see. I think the pupil's right there. Make sure I got everything else lined up. Carmen's here. Hey Carmen. Let's see here. Right about there, I hope. Since I can't, can't really see. And I had to fix my lines, which is quite frustrating. Let's see. So, people's here, how off are we? There's my line right there. I can see the burn line around the iris. So I should be good now. And I can see that line actually is further up. So there's the pupil right there. 
I can see it. And Kathy says, yes, it does happen to me. It happens to me, too. It can happen sometimes, but it's definitely frustrating, especially when it's on a big piece like this. Oh, yeah. And I'm trying to see. I mean, it's a good thing I'm using tracing paper because regular paper you wouldn't be able to see at all. What I'm looking for is that outline. It's right there. You know, I'm not going to be too worried about if the outside lines are off. I don't think it matters because. Those are separate, so I'm not going to stress about that. The main thing is just getting these eyes straight, because it was too big of a, of a discrepancy. If it was a little one, I wouldn't care, because everybody's faces aren't perfect. But this is, this is a big one, so I'm going to erase. I'm going to incorporate the iris I already put in to her eyelashes okay. because it's just too dark. I can try to sand it a little bit. This has been one big thing after another with this piece. See, it's right here. That's the um, iris I just put in. Mm -hmm. And it's at the base. I might be able to blend it a little bit, but I think I'm going to take a second to see if I can knock it down a little bit. That way it's not so obvious. So I'm going to have to do a little sanding here. Maybe. I got that pretty good. I'm just trying to lighten it. See, I got it pretty good. And I didn't notice this earlier. Or I would have already fixed it. And you, you can see I'm trying to go with the grain. Yep, I'm just going to have to blend that in. Alrighty, so can you hand me one of those graphite? So I'm gonna very quick and that red pencil. So I'm gonna very quickly there we go. Transfer this in. In theory. In theory it'll be quick. In my head it'll be quick. But will it be quick? And if it's still slightly off, I think I'll be okay with it It'll because it'll be closer. I mean, just printing out this pattern was a real pain. I just realized I didn't check to make sure <laughs> I had the... Um, Graphite in the right direction. I think I do. So these dots are just where my shading is. Let's see if we got her fixed. I got double lines, and that's when I'm trying to figure out how off I am. Because we can still see what I erased. <clears throat> I think this graphite's running low. Can you grab me another one, please? I haven't untaped it, so I can go back over it. There's under the photos there. Let's see if I'm... These have been used so many times. One piece. 
that I cut off can last for so long. And this is just a cheap watercolor pencil. I can't find my other pencil that I use. And I don't normally transfer upright like this. So that's another reason why I'm having a little bit of an issue. Let's just try to get these lines in the right spot. Hopefully that's dark enough that I'll be able to tell what's what. Yeah, I can tell what's what. Um, before I fully pull it off, let's check. Let's see. See, the eyes are closer. I still feel a little off. No. No, I think that's okay. Wow, you can, mm -hmm. you can really see it now. What? See how much it was off initially. Yeah, see, we can. I'm gonna have to pay attention to what I'm doing in order to not go off on one of those lines. Alrighty. My board's so big, it's grabbing my, uh, so I'm going to have to work on incorporating that. So that'll be interesting. Let's incorporate it. And only you guys will know about it. I'm going to switch pins now. I don't need that one. I'm going to switch the 18 small. Because okay. then I can get some good eyelash curve. Morgan is right behind you. The other dog needs her. Not, not what are you eating, Maxie? I don't know. She just had a carrot. Oh. I'm just waiting for my tip to heat up. But that's not a carrot she's eating. I don't know what she's eating. <laughs> I go darker with that. Not for now. I'm gonna bump up to three and a half. And I'm gonna use my edge. And because I have my board angled, I'll get a better curve. Pretty damn dark. Mm. We're gonna put thick makeup on her. I'm just messing this up. No, you're not. Yeah, I did. I will admit, I just screwed this one up. But you're fixing it. That is a debatable statement. And I don't want to have to sand this whole board down and start over. Mm -hmm. 
I really didn't want to use the knife, but... I probably should have put this in my lap. It would have been easier for me to control. Well, do you want to switch gears and do something else? Well, I didn't want to show them how I'm going to work to fix this. Okay. Don't want to leave them hanging. So this is 400 grit sandpaper that I'm showing on camera. Where'd you guys all get up? The dogs all got up. Why did you guys do that? Luckily, like I said, this is all going to be underwater. Yeah. So. And I, I pull out the eraser after I sand because it pulls out the, the stuff that's... Um, caught in the grain. You see this line is just, even though that's how my pattern was, um, her eye just feels so off. So I turned down my heat a little bit. Wanda's here, so it's better late than never. Hey, Wanda. You're not that late. Mm -mm. You know what? Let's put some lines in the eye. I will make that more oval, or more circular in a minute. Let's get the shadow in. I will say, this is like the worst I have ever done. Oh, wow. I'm going to put her in my lap. Because I'm trying to be sideways. And Hopefully I don't move the board around too much on you. Wanda says you are your own worst critic. Right? That, <coughs> that is a true statement. Yes. Yes, she is. Okay. Absolutely, Wanda. I'm going to thicken up the other one, too. I'm flat right now. This one has a whole lot more eyelash hiding things, shadows. Do you need it, too? Make sure I'm still on. All this shadow coming down. Roxy, stop. So I'm going to try to lay in. Uh, eyelashes all darken them. What? get some shadow in. Sorry, my brain's like, do this. But then forgetting to tell you what I'm doing. It's 
some of the other shadows. Bumping up to three and a half so I can start Remember, darker at the base, and curl them up. And I'm just using the tip. It's really hard to see on this one because she has so much shadowing. I like that one better and it's smaller than what it should be. Now I gotta figure out how to hide everything. You don't see as much as uh, of the eyelashes right here. Because they face the camera more. Mm -hmm. yeah. I need to bring them out. Now I'm going to try to angle this one. Try to copy. I think this one's got a lot of shadow on it. Water's gonna have to go dark. This uh, this last week, Valerie and me were part of an artist panel at our Center for the Arts. And we got to talk about our art a little bit. And Valerie had to ask, answer some questions. In fact, she was the first question from the panel because they wanted to know how. First two. First two, yeah. How that she was able to create art with hot air. Because it was the Corvus piece that you did. And I forget what the second question was. But, um. They burned on rock. Yeah. But, um thought it was interesting because they as soon as questions opened up it was immediate like, like somebody wanted to know right away so that was pretty cool <laughs> he's buying me some time because he knows I'm frustrated right now I and I'm know. trying to process what I want to do which is hard to talk through while you're doing it and so. also is it okay if I announce your new new position. Which one? For the uh, what is it? Flag flag staff words. Creative flag staff. Creative flag um, staff. I still have to give my final yes, but sure. Okay. Uh, Sheila's here. Hey, yep, Sheila. You're here. You, you you made it halfway, so you got halfway left. 
Um, so yeah, so Valerie also got, because while we were up there, Valerie got offered um, a position um, for Creative Flagstaff, which is a part of the Center for the Arts. No. No, it's not. You, you, they work with the Center of the Arts. They work with the Center of the Arts. Anyway, so it gives her a little bit of, of um, input into stuff that happens around Flagstaff art-wise. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty cool because when we first got here, we were just a couple artists who were, you know, I was retiring and, you know, I was an artist and Valerie is an artist. And you started school. I started school and but we didn't have any connections and didn't really know anybody. And now, look at you now. You're... Uh, Making a mess. You're... Working with the Center for the Arts, you're working with Creative Flagstaff, you're a, a juror for the county fair. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I'm still an artist. <laughs> and an author. Yeah, I'm busy, but um, my pursuits lie in different, different directions, so and I'm st still an artist though, too. So. So Valerie is kind of a big deal. No, no, Get no. to know her. No, no. She's the decider. <laughs> no. Wanda says, you mean you have a life away from the camera we see? <laughs> no, actually no. I just make it up, Wanda. When the camera goes off, we just sit here. <laughs> we just sit here in the dark and wait for the next broadcast. As I put more in, I know I'll feel better about it. But I've got to get to that point. Because right now, my brain is saying, sand the F out of this and start over. Tape your pattern back together and start over. I do not like your brain at this moment. That would make two of us. But I, I'm telling them this because... <clears throat> It's a common feeling. Oh, yeah. But I think that... Um, but this piece of wood is too pretty to have... Yeah. A crappy burning on it. Oh, what did Carmen say? Take my glasses off. Yes, look at you now. You know people from all over, and I guess people from everywhere here today. We truly appreciate you helping us all the time. Thank you, Carmen. Thank you, Carmen. Andrea says, way to go, guys. You work so hard at your craft. I'm so proud and glad to know you both. And Sheila says, eyes are looking good. Kind of <gasps> soulful, if you know what I mean. You missed it, though. <laughs> we had a whole to-do about the eyes, and I'm still not happy with them. Well, but I, I think they look I'm going to start putting other stuff in around the eye in order for it to start coming out, and hopefully I'll feel more, more confident about what I'm doing. Now, I decided on the fish scales based on the other mermaid <laughs> that I'm going to shade in the scales okay. but leave the white around it because then it does read as scales I think part of being an artist is being able to adjust to things that, that happen that you don't anticipate um, it's kind of like um, when you're trying to do something um, it doesn't matter what the endeavor because I think it's the same in a lot of places especially sports you know and art but like if you're trying to do something perfectly you, you, you know like I don't know if you're trying to like let's say run you know I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about if I can run this metaphor out or not <laughs> Okay, so let's say that you're, you're trying to run something and, and you're trying to run like, I don't know, 100 meters and you're trying to get under a certain time, but, but you, you know, you trip or, you know, you come, you come off the block wrong or something like that. And so it messes up your, your run. Well, the better you get, the more likely that you are able to adapt to any mistakes that you make and continue and, and complete your run. And ours is the same way. So the more 
skills that you accumulate and the more experience that you accumulate, that the more able that you are to adapt to any mistakes and they become features uh, as opposed to, you know, mistakes. Um, yes, it still happened, but it doesn't mean that the piece of art is, is lost. In the, in the beginning, you might have that instinct to start all over again because you want to you want to do it perfectly. But I think that experience and time enable somebody to, you know, as an artist, to be able to adjust and, and course correct and to um, continue making the piece of art, even though that they may have made a uh, mistake in the beginning. And Morgan is on the counter. Can you hear me? I was wondering what that was. I'll be right back. No. All right. No, she's not on the counter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn around it so you can see what I mean by the lines. And again, it's not going to be bright white because the water is going to go over her. But we'll still be able... What was that noise? Morgan's in here. I don't know. If something fell. Something just fell or we have a mouse. <laughs> Nikki needs to go away. I caught a mouse last night and I let him go away from the house. Um, thank you, Wanda. Um, oh, Burl's here too. Hey, Burl. Um, when did I miss Burl coming in? Oh, hi, all. Better late than ever. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's okay, Burl. Gotcha. So this is a lighter area on her face. That's why I'm taking it easy. Remember, it's always easier to go lighter yep. and darken it up than it is to try to... We saw that with the eye and how I went in dark right away and then got had some issues Yeah. that I had to resolve. So... Kathy says it's a common feeling. It's really starting to come together. Carmen says I know the feeling. I've had the temptation to send everything down, and I have once already. And Wanda says they are great, though. And also, exactly, me. And uh, let's see. Sheila says, "What did I miss? Mm. I watched on relay. I got stuck at hospital. Hence the oh. reason for lateness." I hope you. I hope everything's okay. Kathy says, the more you add, the better it looks. I always move to a different area when I don't feel like my work is going as planned. Me too, Kathy, says Wanda. You know, I, I think that if if you know that you can fix something, I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with going to a different area. But I think that if you have questions whether you can fix something, that probably you should address it there and then. Because if you do more on the piece, and it turns out that you really do need to make some radical alterations or sanding, then, then you've done a lot of work. That's true. Um, that, you, that might have to be undone. So, no, not to say it isn't good practice. So you can see, well, I've got some graphite erased. That's how the scales are going to be. I mean, granted... <sighs> oh, hello, Layla. Granted, it's not going to be as light right here. But you can see the shape. Uh, it, almost like you would do uh, oh God. big cat print as well. It made my eyes cross. Oh, God. Can you turn the fan like facing her butt so it blows that way? It's not going to work. Nobody wants to watch our sour faces. Let's see. I'm actually going, because I'm working with the face, and I've got a shadow here. I'm actually going to switch over to... Mm. Sheila says all okay. There's just okay, an infection. Oh. But it sounds like it's taken care of. Because she says it's all okay. Alright, so. Layla, that's just wrong. 
But she's happy and relaxed. Yes, it's a biological this weapon. Is how, this is how she shows you that she's relaxed. Yes, it is. Alrighty, so I am switching over to the large spoon shader because I have found that the spoon shaders do really good on skin in general. So it's been a while since I've used it, so let me get my bearing back with it. But I'm going to put in this dark shadow here. And then this is really going to lighten up just by having the dark shadow there. Touch down on something already burned. Remember, I can always darken this up. This is a really deep shadow. But I don't want to go full dark. I have to admit I'm a little, a little shy right now after that screw up. But I can go darker. I'm going to bump up a little past four because I'm moving so quickly. And I'm going over it and over it with oval strokes and blending and smoothing. Wanda is asking, spoon shader is only for dark shadows? Mm, no, you can use it for light shadows too, or just light areas. Skin in general. You see, I'm going across the grain and I'm getting a few. areas that are burned a little darker and in order to combat combat that I will take a smaller spoon shader and go in between to blend it out smooth it out definitely the beauty of working with wood On some level, we're at the mercy of the grain. Wanda wants to know what size of spoon shader you're using. This one's the large. This one is the large. Remember, skin has texture, though you wouldn't see it through the water. Um, based on the darks and the hair below me, this is definitely going to go darker. Just trying to get it blocked in. Well, that area is like very dark. Well, it lightens up a little bit above her lips. Yeah, this is a I'm glad her face is bigger for this. It gave me room to fix the eyes. So if I can keep my speed, I can keep it more even. But I am getting a cramp in my thumb. <laughs> so now I'll switch over just real quick to that. And Kathy says she needs to practice more with the spoon shavers. Yeah. They can take a little while sometimes if you're not Feel them. Great oh, no. for rocks. Practice with rocks. They're great for rocks. In fact, Did you hear that? I heard it. I'm trying to ignore it. 
did they hear it is the question. I hope not. <laughs> I was talking when it happened. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to bump down to the medium. Maybe, maybe it wasn't what you thought it was. I'm at the same <laughs> temperature. What? Hmm. Laugh at me. It's wishful thinking. It is. Wanda says uh, she doesn't have a spoon cheddar. Oh. I do like the spoon shooters for skin. See, this is the same temperature because it's a smaller tip. It heats up a little different. Trying to keep, though my hand just starts going, but I am trying to keep my strokes smaller to fill in some of the lighter areas and smooth it out. One that has a writer and a triangle shaped tip. Spear shader and the 9M. If you're doing a lot of people I would definitely say the spoon shooter is worth it. Um, granted, it is also what you get used to using. Like for first 12 years of burning, the spoon shader was the, and a different brand, was my go-to. Because that's what I got used to. And then when I got the Optima and tried the spear shader, it kind of kind of threw me for a loop. I had to get used to it. But then once I got used to it, you can see that that's like pretty much always the first pen I start with. Wanda says it looks really smooth. Yeah. Is it smoothing? Okay. I mean, she does more people and larger animals. And the spoon shader would definitely be something to look at. Um, I would say the medium or the large to start. So Wanda, are you doing larger animals, meaning larger, like, big pieces. cats, or are you doing larger dimensional pieces of animals, is my question. See, now that I've got that laid in, I can switch back over to my spear shader. And, uh, go back over it. I'm actually gonna, here's one that hasn't made an appearance in a while. It's the first spear shader I got used to. That was just breathing, right? Mm -mm. Is my 18M. Um, that would be good now that I've gone over this. Again, you don't have to have all these tips. These are things that I'm switching back and forth with. If there's a pin you like, use that pin. So she does large animals like horses. She says horses as opposed to hedgehogs. So, okay. 18M. We have not seen this one in a while. Time is flying. Well, we had to go through that whole drama of me. Fixing. Mm. Skies are getting getting darker. Yay. So I'm completely flat. I'm just, I've See, slowed says, down. I mm -hmm. think you used the 18M for everything at one time. I did in the beginning, like the first couple of years with the Optima. Um, September will be the fifth year with my Optima. Wow. Mm -hmm. And Pat still teases me, not in a bad way, but it still shocks him that my pins look like the day I got them. 
Oh, you take care of them. I do. I haven't cleaned my tips. I'm trying to think what la the last piece was that I've cleaned my tips. I mean, I think I wiped off a little bit. Just quick um, before we started this piece. Yeah. But in general. Well, right? yeah. In general, you, you, you burn in such a way that you don't create a lot of carbon. Yep. Not, at least not, not ending up on your pans. And then that they're polished already also helps because mm -hmm. it's harder for the carbon to adhere to it. Yep. That's what the oxidation's for. Bringing this up to her eyebrows. Eyebrow. I've got the photo in my lap, so if you're wondering why I keep looking down, I'm looking at my photo. Well, we can only see like the top of your head in one eye. Oh. Let me back off. So. Is that better? Yeah. I didn't realize that. I get, I get to working and my face is like right here at the burning. Well, yeah, I don't. I watch to make sure that your your work is staying on camera. You know your working area. But I don't sweat too much if, if you move off a bit. Although I probably should, huh? So right now I'm just using the tip and that's why it's burning as hot as it is. I am at four and a half. So now with that in, this goes darker. Moving faster. Now remember, all of this is going to get pushed back um, once the water is on top of her. Okay. We're not going to see it as much. So this is really dark right here. And then it graduates to like a medium dark here, which I'm actually going to switch over because it's not running smooth right this second. It's just because of how I was moving my tip. When you say switch over, what are you talking about? I am going back to the medium ball tip. Okay. I think. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I've turned down my heat. Touch down in a place I've already burned. And bring it over. And this area this is lighter and lighter. You're seeing these gaps because <clears throat> I'm leaving gaps in order to erase the graphite. And then I'll go back and fill them in. It's just so it's easier to erase the graphite. Because I haven't burned over it. So this is a piece of seaweed coming here. This part of the face will be completely dark. Uh, let's see here, what photos do I got up? This is, I'm gonna put that down. This is what the full piece looks like in my head. <laughs> that is what I'm trying to achieve. The grain is kind of fighting me a little bit right here. 
It's like a stronger piece of grain. Mm -hmm. so smaller strokes. Does it just not want to burn the same way, or what, what's going on? I wouldn't say it's not that it doesn't want to burn the same way. It's just... I'm trying to think of how to explain it. Because I'm moving across it as well as going up and down. Mm -hmm. Just doesn't necessarily burn as smooth. Oh. That's all. Okay. So now I'm going to try to go up and down with the grain and see if that helps me a little bit. I'm actually going to bump up to four and a half. And this is the darkest right here. Bring this up a little bit more on the tip versus the ball in regards to the pen. Layla's really getting us today. Yeah, she got me earlier. I didn't get to you. Or at least, if it did, you didn't say anything. <coughs> Pull this into the shadow. Is this what carrots do? No. No. See you soon. That's what Layla does. Kathy says it looks like pores on the skin. Which is, I think, why you use it, right? A bit, yeah. Um, it does... It does give that texture. The thing is, if he's underwater, so we're not really going to see that texture. No, but it's nice that it's there. I think that's a lot of, when, when people talk about like, oh, that, like for instance, like they say it, something looks airbrushy. Um, it's because it's too smooth. It's an, in general, unless someone's wearing a ton of makeup, um, their skin is not that smooth. It's smooth, but there's imperfections and pores and things like that. So, it's something to keep in mind when you're doing portraits is that there is a little bit of texture there. Yeah. And it's good to address it so that um, people can see it if, if you can. Um, because it makes it more lifelike. Unless you're going for like porcelain. In which case, you know, then that's perfectly smooth. We're at the top of the yard. Mm, already? Yep. How much longer are you going? I'm asking for me. I know. Oh. Because I can go and I can be right back, or I can try and hold on until the end. Uh, try to hold on until the end. Okay. Please. Um. All right. Whew. Now that has to go much darker, but let's get this up here. The camera's going to get my, well, actually I'm lower down. Let's back it off so we can see. Actually see. You did a good job of concealing that. I, I would not be able to see. I know you could probably tell exactly where it is, but I can't, so... And I knew where it was. Um, no, it's, but it's, it does have a bit of conceal going on. Yeah, good job. Yeah, and remember, this is all going to go darker, as mm -hmm. you can see from the reference right here. Yeah. It's just going to be a hint of her, but I'm actually probably going to have to use the um, heat gun to get a nice smooth gradient for that. Oh. I think, and it'll take less time if I do it that way. But if you look at my reference, this is all in the dark. So that's why we don't even, that's why I didn't even put it in. When Wanda says very pretty, and oh, Carmen says you. that, it's going to look amazing. Wow. I hope so. I hope so. I mean, I see some issues, but if you didn't see my post yesterday, this is what I got blocked in over the weekend. 
And with these rocks down here, right in here, I used the um, spoon shader to get that texture. Just by doing the very technical term of uh, scrumbling, scribbling. I have no idea what that was about. Yeah, there is a truck on the road. No, Layla, don't help. <sighs> There's right. no way they heard deer. If they heard deer, if there were deer out there, they'd be going berserk. Yeah. So that's what I, I use this uh, spoon shader to start building in the rocks. And I needed the rocks so I could see how darker tail needed to go. And then I started. This is, I guess, blocked in quickly where those scales were. And I'm like, huh, I like that. So that's how I knew to do it up here because I like that outcome. Hmm. So. Thank you, Kathy. Yes, please. Thumbs up, everybody. Um, if you're watching this, you like what you see, thumbs up. Um, that's my hand next to how big her face is. Yeah. It, it's a pretty big one. It is pretty big. Yeah. Yes, Carmen, the dogs were here. <laughs> oh, no, they're here. They were just knocked out until Morgan... Heard and, something. Yeah. Don't forget, next week, again, um, for those who came in later, um, I have decided to go ahead, and the first week of September is when all the lives are going to go uh, only to the members. And the reason for that is I decided I wanted to go ahead and enter the Trakel Pet Portrait um, competition when that ends August 31st for submissions. And this is the portrait I'm going to be doing. And I was thinking I started all my public lives with an animal. And so I figured we could end it with Morgan and then just go to the members. So this is the piece because my wood's already shipped. I ordered it yesterday. Should be here uh, by Friday, no later than Saturday. I hope because I've got to get it sanded before I can do anything else. So this is this is Morgan. Just Took, just to incorporate. See, look, you've already got the composition. Just, just <laughs> incorporate her into the, the piece. piece. She can be looking down at the mermaid with her bone. <laughs> I am trying to figure out what to name this piece, um, whether it be contemplation or you talking to me, because that's kind of the, it, and as you can tell on the photo, he's chewed off one part of the end of the bone, and has she worked on the other, he's worked on the other side too, hasn't she? Probably. Yeah. So, in the photo, just because I did a quick pull the background is missing her back leg right here but that will be in the photo now this piece is only an eight by eight let's see what how big is an eight by eight there it is so the piece is only just pretty much the mermaid a little bit bigger no sheila that's going to be a public live yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this public because I did see people. There was somebody who had questions about doing short white fur, which Morgan has. She also has short tan fur. And we can't really see it in the photo, but she does have black fur as well. So I figured with her being a tricolored dog, I can hit a lot of areas in regards to fur. Because um, some of it's short and some of it is longer, though she is still a short hair. Yeah. Um, so I thought that's what we do with that and this is are you reading it Burl says this bone doesn't taste <laughs> like my other bones Carmen she got says, mad life is as good as a bone a good bone to chew on yeah this morning she wouldn't get off the couch to come eat her breakfast because she was chewing on that bone and so mom finally got her in her kennel to eat her breakfast and then I went and took her bone and moved it because I'm silly like that. And he thought dad took it. Mm -hmm. Even though I put it on the table right where he could see it if you if you wanted it. It was a bit of hide and seek. But he was so focused on dad taking it that he didn't see it until I picked it up. And then it was all about mom then. Uh, hey Ivy. Next Tuesday. Regular time. 
Next Tuesday, regular yeah, that's time. That's when the live is happening. And then um, yes. Wanda is, has a question. Mm -hmm. If you do lives only for members, are you still going to YouTube them? I, the, meaning the lives, they're happening on YouTube. They're just behind the paywall. And then I'm going to take those lives and cut them down really, really short and go ahead and post those just as a, hey, this is what we did in the live this week. Yeah. That's what I'm looking at doing. Um, so yeah, I haven't done an animal in a while, so I figured we'd do that. Ivy says still working on, okay, still working on the table. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else? I can't think of anything. I can't either. Okay. I need to go hide Morgan's bone again. Just because it's fun for me. Just because it's fun for me. Oh, okay. Well, enjoy your holiday, Carmen. Yep. Have fun. Be safe. Okay. Yes, please send me updates on Facebook. Alrighty. If we don't have any more questions, thanks for hanging out with us. And you yeah. know what to say. Say it with me. You're awesome. You can do this. Why? Because you're a pyro artist. Happy burning, guys. Bye. Food. Nope. <laughs> Food.